everyone, it's Miss Hancock, and today we're going to talk about how to divide rational numbers. We're going to concentrate on fractions. The standards that we're going to talk about is 7NS2A, 2 and 2C, and we're going to jump right on in, and we're going to talk about vocabulary. So on the vocabulary, we're going to refresh our memory on what rational numbers are. Um, they include natural numbers, whole numbers, integers, fractions, and decimals that repeat and terminate. But for today's lesson, we're primarily going to concentrate Number one property is the fraction where the numerator is greater than the denominator. An example would be seven over three, the numerator and the denominator. Also, in a mixed fraction, a number consisting of an integer and a proper fraction. So, an example would be um, here is a integer, here is a fraction, and one third would be a fraction. Go ahead and look at the rules that we're going to talk about. Um, rules for dividing rational numbers. If you have two terms that have like signs, like both signs are positive, both signs are negative, the solution will be positive. If you have two terms where they have unlike signs, um, the solution will be negative. An example would be if you had a negative and a positive term, then your solution will be negative. Um, rules for dividing fractions. This is more of a fifth and sixth grade skill. But I want to remind you of these um, rules. Whenever you're dividing fractions, you're going to turn any mixed numbers, any mixed fractions into improper fractions. You're going to follow the rule, keep, change, flip, which means find the reciprocal of that fraction, which means we just flip it over. And you're going to multiply straight across just like you would in multiplication of fractions. So we're going to look at some problems and um, get started on those. Our first problem we're going to look at is negative four over seven divided by fraction. So we're good with that. Now we're going to do keep, change, flip. So keep, change, flip. And remember, flip is reciprocal. Negative four, we're going to keep the first term. We're going to change this divide to multiply. And we're going to Flip or find the reciprocal of negative two thirds. So I'm just going to flip that over. I'm going to keep my parentheses to keep the multiply sign and the negative sign separate. And I'm going to go ahead and multiply straight across. Negative four times three is negative 12. Seven times negative two is negative 14. And when you're looking at this, do you notice that both terms um, are negative? And they are like signs. And if they're like signs, that means my solution is going to be positive. So I can go ahead and simplify this down, divide by two, and that's going to give me um, negative six over negative seven, which in B just six over seven. It is a positive. Now, if you want to at the beginning, go ahead and say these are like terms and my answer is positive, go ahead and do that. And I would also tell you this, if it's a multiple choice problem, go ahead and decide what your sign is and then cross out the ones that are incorrect. So like I knew this was gonna be a positive, so I would just go ahead and I would just mark out all the ones that were negative and that way I, I'm not worried about it. Okay, so if it's um, multiple choice, do it that way. Okay, let's look at another example. So on this example, I have negative one half divided by three eighths. And if you want to do that, um, where you go ahead and find the sign, go ahead and find the sign. So this is a negative term divided by a positive term. They are unlike signs, so my solution will be negative. So if you want to go ahead and write that out there so you don't forget, that's great as well. I don't have any improper fractions, so I'm going to go ahead and do keep, change, flip, which is the reciprocal. I'm going to keep the first term. I'm going to change it from divide to multiply, and I'm going to take the three eighths and I'm going to flip it over and do eight over three. That's going to give me negative one times eight is negative eight. Two times three is six. And um, so my answer is negative. This is an improper fraction. So I need to turn it into a proper fraction or to a mixed fraction. So I'm going to put the eight and the six. I'm going to go to negative because I re remember that it's going to be a negative divided by a positive. Six will go into eight one time. I have a remainder of two, so that's two six, and that will simplify. I can divide by two, 
And that's going to give me one and one third. So my solution is negative one and one third. Be really careful because when students get to this point right here, they forget about that negative sign and they forget to write it in their solution. So make sure that you're paying attention to that. Um, that is the last problem that I have for these examples. Um, I hope that you um, learned something or this was a good refresher for you. And I will see you in the next video. And y'all have a wonderful day. And I'll see you guys later.